All right, there are three big surprises that I have. Da, 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 da. All right, there are three big surprises that I find out by jump reading for 30 days. All right, all right, all right. You know, when I start reading a book, I basically need to finish it. It's like I know there is this uncompleted thing in my mind. It's sort of I feel like a failure if I don't finish something that I've started. But then on Joe Rogan's podcast, I listened to the interview to Number Ravikant, the founder of Angelist, a super smart guy, who was saying how he freely jumps from one book to the other without following chapters and basically treating the book like a magazine, taking only the ideas that he needed and then dropping the book entirely. And that seemed very uncommon, but potentially super interesting. So I decided to try and I read 10 books simultaneously for 30 days and this is what happened. Hey inventors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Simon, I'm an engineer and a tech founder and on this channel we talk about productivity and career tactics for engineers. Today we are going over what I've discovered by reading 10 books simultaneously and the mechanics of the experiment was to literally jump from one book to the other following only my mental flow, aiming to see if I feel more knowledge about the topic that I'm reading or if I see more ideas and brain connections sparking in my mind. So let's jump into it. Before starting to read, I made two things. First, I wanted diversity. I wanted to push my brain in building neural connections across different books. I wanted to read something on a book and experience a recall from a completely different book. So I chose 10 books ranging in topics from psychology to marketing, branding, finance, economy, very different books. Second, I wanted to make sure I had the right tool in place to capture any brain connection or idea I in my mind. So on Notion I have built my library where I basically stored all the books I read and in this library I built my capturing template where I can save and write down every idea or brain connections or interesting information that I find by reading the book which has been invaluable during this experiment. Once the experiment started I almost immediately noticed three patterns emerging over and over. The first one is what I call the paradox of jump. You basically start trying jump reading because you want to see if you're able to get more ideas, more brain connections by jumping from one book to the other. But actually, when you're reading something interesting on a book, you find yourself going deeper in that topic in that book and the mental flow will actually keep you there instead of pushing in your mind things coming from completely different books. So it seems that the higher the quality of the book, the less the brain will jump to a completely different one. Pattern number two is what I call the long jump. Reading multiple books for the first time will not probably generate meaningful brain connections in the short term, like while you are reading those books for the first time. You will probably need to go deeper in each book to understand it better before actually being able to generate meaningful brain connections and having brand new ideas that you feel are interesting ideas. So it doesn't feel very much like a magazine. You probably need to spend more time on each book and it's not that you can just jump from one book to the other. Pattern number three is what I call the jump trap. Once your mind jumps, you want to write it down immediately. You want to store the brain connection or the new idea immediately, otherwise it's gone, you, you lost it. And you want to write them down while not exiting the mental flow that generated them in the first place. So you want to have a capturing system in place that really eliminates for you any friction. Notion works well for me, but for you it can be anything. It could be a pen and paper, it could be Evernote, from research, anything you like. But you need to store that information immediately and super, super easily so that you remain in that mental flow that actually generated that brand new idea. All things considered, I think jump reading is a bit overrated. For me personally, I find my brain is able to generate more meaningful ideas when I select a good book and I read it deeply instead of just jumping from one book to the other like a magazine. In the description below, you will find the links to what I've covered in this video, including my Notion template that you can freely duplicate and use as you like. If you found this video interesting, you may like these other two videos that I've made to cover other aspects of the life of an engineer. Let me know what you think in the comments below. See you there. Have a great week.